I survived the 100 days in a horror mod pack in Minecraft. The goal is simple, survive 100 days in the scariest mod pack known in Minecraft history. The entire environment in this world will give you the creeps. The mobs, the random sounds, just everything about this world is scary. Sit back, relax, subscribe, and watch me survive 100 days in the scariest mod pack in Minecraft. During day one, I spawned in the world and everything seemed normal so far. I started getting some wood, uh, you know, tried to make a crafting table, started crafting the basics, you know, sticks, a sword, everything you need to start off your Minecraft journey. And so far, it was all going fine. The day was coming to an end and I had no home, so I did the classic play. Uh, I decided to dig a hole and just live in it and wait it out. But so far, day one was pretty normal. However, little did I know everything would take a turn. From days two to five, I was just walking to this village and oh, th 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 this, this thing just showed up. It's like a scare scream mask. Obviously, I freaked out. I was in this random village while that I randomly found. I walked into this house. This villager was sleeping. Uh, I needed to get somewhere safe. I tried to sleep for a bit, but I couldn't. I just waited it out in the house. I don't know what that was. It was like this scream mask that just randomly appeared on my screen. I don't know what to do, but I tried my best to just continue my typical Minecraft journey. I found some emeralds in this chest. Uh, I put it in my inventory. We got some apples as well. We need some of those and everything was going smooth i guess i also found some leather armor in another chest i found i had to equip it and it quickly became nighttime i now had that fear again of whatever just happened the next day i upgraded some of my weapons to stone and i had some time to just figure out what happened what is this this thing just started coming at me i don't know what it is and yeah there it goes, I died. I quickly realized that there was no way I was surviving this. Even if I had the best netherite armor, the best weapons, there's no way I would have survived that. So I quickly changed my objective to not survive, but just explore and figure out what this world really entails. That thing that just happened was called the man from the fog. Apparently it's this mob that just just kills you it's really freaky i don't know how to explain it you guys just saw it at this point it's raining i don't know what to do and this other thing just came out this time i kind of could hit it but there was no chance i was killing it it's called the one who watches there is no way i'm living this thing without I don't know what to do. From day six to 10, I just tried to continue my journey. I found some iron, so I smelted it down. I tried to upgrade some of my weapons and some of my armor. I figured I was already gonna lose this stuff, but maybe there's a slim chance that it protects me. During the nighttime, I found myself at edge. I was just looking around, kind of surveilling the area. I didn't know what to do. At this point, I just wanted to explore. I didn't care about dying. But at the same time, I get scared kind of easily. I found this random pyramid thing in the middle of the forest. I figured I'd get some stone while I'm at it. And while I was walking, um, I think I found some, some, something that was in this game from the start. I quickly figured out that Hero Brian is in this world. He was just on top of a tree. I didn't know what to do. I stared at him. It, it it's so freaky. I I kind of just stood there. He and then he just he everything turned black. I couldn't move. I couldn't see. But it didn't really do much damage. What's the point of that? See, I, I I don't know what to do anymore. Hero Brian doesn't kill you, but he kind of paralyzes you. I kind of had to create a plan at this point. Day 10 was coming to an end. I, I don't know what to think of it so far. This world has a lot to explore. It's very creepy and very eerie, but I kind of want to explore it more. From days 11 to 16, I had to figure out the lore behind this Hero Brian character. I started off the days by building a small makeshift home just to protect myself for the night. 
it was made of wood and cobblestone and the entire day it was just raining. I tried to find some something to explore. I killed this cow for some meat. Uh, sorry cow, RIP in the comments. And then when I tried to kill another cow, it just killed me. It, 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 it was possessed. I've never seen a possessed cow in Minecraft. Could this be the doing of Hero Brian? I went around and found like this random collection of stumps. There's a torch on one of them. I've never seen anything like this before. Again, I started at zero. All I had was some dirt, but I found another village and luckily I could make it another night. There was an iron golem protecting the village. So I kind of had this idea that if I stick next to the iron golem, I could be safe. No, I encountered this weird skeleton. I've never seen a skeleton with their eyes glowing. This has to be Hero Brian. It seems like Hero Brian possesses other mobs, increasing their strength and overall just making it creepy. I stayed in this little house. The entire night, this skeleton was just looking at me through the window. I don't know about you guys, but this was really creepy. After waking up the next day, I went around and I, I decided to just ring this bell. I don't know why, but once I ringed it, something really weird happened. I went around the village trying to collect some loot as much as I could because I seemed to be losing everything. I collected some wheat. Just a little bit of everything, trying to find some chests, something to protect myself, because I don't know what's next. Then out of nowhere, in the corner of my eye, I could see Hero Brian behind this house with a sign saying stop. He approached me and everything went black. Even though I had half a heart, he did no damage to me. But this sign was left saying stop. Stop what? I didn't do anything. I tried to ignore it. I found some leather boots equip them and try to get some more meat. Hopefully this cow isn't possessed. The next cow was possessed and I died again. I've never been killed this many times by a cow. I guess the vegans would be happy. The next day I woke up and saw this sign in the village saying, I see you. I got goosebumps all of a sudden. I see you? This is definitely Hero Brian. I, I looked around and I couldn't see anything. Hero Brian was surveilling me or, or something was watching me the entire time. I've never felt this way while playing a game. It was like I was being watched. I ran away from the village to find some random pumpkins, but I, I always kind of felt this weird feeling. From day 17 to 25, I found another village or, or the same village. This pig was next to me, this cute little pig. And I decided to stay next to the iron golem just in case something happens, it could protect me. Everything seemed normal so far. So far, so good. These villagers were making out, but then randomly it all went black. I don't know what to do at this point. There was nothing really to do. I decided to just run away from the village and uh, I found this like makeshift kind of nether portal. Next to it was a chest filled with enchanted gold armor, and I don't mind if I do. I collected it, equipped it, and I kind of felt a little bit more protected, even though gold armor is practically useless. Through day 17 to 25, I kept coming back to this village. It was almost like it was attached to me. Through the entire night, I had the creeps. I had to look through every window trying to see what was behind my back. Ringing this bell to see, and there it was, Hero Brian again in the middle of the night. I knew any moment he'd just teleport to me. I didn't know what to do. I kind of stood there frozen. He was just standing there. It's weird, it kind of, there was like a spotlight on him. He was kind of illuminated. He just disappeared out of nowhere. I went to the closest house and tried to sleep it away, but I couldn't. There's monsters nearby. But for some reason, this villager could. This villager tried to keep sleeping in my bed. I, I had to get him out. Sorry, get some sleep elsewhere. I finally got some sleep, but then when I woke up, everything changed. The shaders changed. The environment changed. I wasn't in the village anymore. Where am I? It was like I was in a completely new world. The graphics were amazing, don't get me wrong, but how could this happen? I've never experienced this while playing Minecraft. Everything was different. I was in a random forest, so I decided just to walk around to see exactly where I'm at. It was day 26 now, and through the forest, I found this kind of memorial. There was candles burning, 
and a wither skeleton's head there. Where am I? What? What is this? What? What is this? Is it like a a grave of a wither with these 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 candles around? I, I don't know. I kept exploring, and randomly I'd hear these sounds. These these. It's almost like a person screaming, kind of. I, I don't know what to think of it. I found myself in this random cave, but I don't know, everything in this world changed. It was even more creepy. I decided to forget about it, but the, sound, the, the sounds in this game were insane. It was like someone crying. I collected some wood and tried to progress in this Minecraft world as much as I could. It was becoming night and soon enough, hopefully everything would be okay. But these, these sounds were insane. And then randomly in the middle, I got killed by a goat man. I think this Minecraft world is not what it used to be. It's even more scary. What is a goat man? I had to explore this. There was no reason of trying to collect anything, build anything, because I'd just be killed. Even if I had the best armor, I don't think it would do anything. And then in the middle of the night, what, what? Is that a person on... Uh, there's like this totem of a person sitting there. Uh, there's blood everywhere. What? What is that? I decided to get closer and the spider started attacking me. But what is this thing? There's lanterns around it. I, I had to see what's inside. Every time I tried to get closer, these spiders would surround me. I found an entrance and then... What is that? It's like a, a villager's decapitated head. What did I just witness? I died, but I respawned and I, I had to get a, another look at this. There were spiders surrounding this thing. But inside, I, I... Is that my dead body? I died again, but I got another look at this villager head. It was a decapitated villager's skull just there. And every time I die, I'd see my dead corpse. What is this thing? I couldn't break it, I couldn't do anything about it, and I die from spiders every time. Something about this world is different. The mob's eyes were glowing. I went underwater since it seemed like the only place that was safe. Through the entire night, I, I, I just kept running away. I, I, I saw that memorial again with the candles, and then randomly, I spawned somewhere else. Out of nowhere, I just spawned somewhere else. A little bit of damage was taken, but I, I was... where. Where am I? It's this village, a village I've never seen before. I tried exploring it and the second I made, is that a dead body on the floor? Where am I? There was like this meat in a campfire and a dead body. There were skulls everywhere. I must not be the only person that explored this village before. What is this meat sitting in a campfire? Is it human meat? I don't know where I'm at anymore. Everything about this world is creepy. When I opened the chest, there was bone meal, a bone block, cobwebs. I decided to forget about it and just sleep. In the morning, I had to figure out the lore behind this village. What is this mysterious meat? I don't know. We had to figure it out. It turns out the meat is just regular meat, but after leaving the village, I randomly started hearing these noises. What? what? And then out of nowhere, the man from the fog killed me again. I've seen that before. Nothing new, but still really creepy. When walking down the forest, I witnessed this random abandoned boat. Of course, there was dead bodies in it and the same old, same old in the chest, bones, and actually this time there was a dead horse. Now, when exploring even more, I witnessed this random blocks of something with a guy's head on it. I, what is that? I don't know what to think of this. This world that I woke up to is nothing like I've seen before. It was almost like a memorial or something. There was smoke coming from the bottom, dead bodies everywhere. I had to get some sleep. On day 36, I found myself on top of a tree in the middle of a forest, kind of lost. It was really creepy at night hearing these random sounds, but after kind of looking around, I found this random black creature with glowing eyes. I decided to get closer to it to, to see what it was. It was like on top of a tree. It's like this long, hairy creature with black eyes. I started hitting it. Nothing happened. No damage was done, but it 
It's like so eerie. Like, what is this thing? Ew. I kept hitting its head, and then when I turned around, it was Hero Brian with even more glowy eyes. He's there. He just. And then everything turns black. But before I knew it, I was killed by a grizzly bear. Not by Hero Brian, but a grizzly bear. I guess that's honorable. The next day, I was on top of another tree, and under me is this like weird creature again. It's like moving randomly. I ran away, and of course, I don't know what to think about it. You guys tell me in the comment section below. After walking for a bit, I found this like totem thing. It turned out to be a graveyard. Super eerie. I had this weird feeling when I got close to it. At this point in this journey, I don't know what to do. I kept kind of exploring the world. I quickly found like this area with a huge tower and these scarecrows next to it. After climbing it, there was nothing really in there. I soon found this goat man. It jumped on me. What is this thing? It's so random. It jumps everywhere and kills you. I don't even know what a goat man is. The next day, I woke up in that same bed with skulls next to me. And before I knew it, the goat man arrived again and he killed me. I don't know what to do at this point. The next day arrived and I was on top of another tree with nowhere to go. Again, I kept hearing these noises. It was raining. I decided to get off the tree and there was Hero Brian. Everything turned black for a second. I was used to this. Of course, no damage was done. So I kind of got accustomed to Hero Brian. I continued walking down this forest area. And again, these sounds. And then out of nowhere, this Slenderman figure was just there. He just, dis and then he disappeared. Wh what is happening? What is happening in this world? Next to him was this angel thing. And then I died. Apparently, I punched a stone too hard. I woke up, saw that angel again, touched it, and was teleported to this random area. I've seen this area before with the the random tree stumps and torches. Something wasn't right here. What am I supposed to do to explore this world? If every time I wake up, I get killed. I continued kind of exploring the area. I soon enough, I found that same kind of tower thing with the dead body on top. I went inside again. And as you guys know, there's the villager. What do I do? This thing is so creepy. Who made this mod? This mod has to be the scariest thing I've ever played in a while. I started hitting it. Nothing happened. And then I, I saw the villager, another villager, just on the wall, dead. This place gave me the creeps. I never went to the top of the tower, so I decided to check it out. Of course, more dead bodies, but I found an iron sword, so I guess that's okay. This tower thing is just so weird. I arrived to the top where the dead body was and decided just to scope out the village, see what's going on. And, uh, wait, what was that? Did you guys see that? Let me know in the comment section if you guys saw that. I, s I swear I saw something. I went back down to leave and, and found this villager zombie. Easily killed that because I'm a boss. And decided to leave the tower, find something else to explore. And quickly I realized there was Hero Brian again. But this time I actually tried to hit him. And as soon as I hit him, of course, I was sent to an abyss of darkness. Hero Brian does no damage to you, but every time I see him, I get the creeps. I collected some armor from this chest, and next thing you know, I saw Hero Brian again, walking on water, and he killed me. On day 46, I found this random abandoned house, and looking through the window, there was dead bodies scattered everywhere. Specifically, these villagers. What did they do to deserve this? I don't know what to think of it. It's just so weird. The light in this house kept turning on and off, making things even weirder. Uh, I had to leave. There was chains dangling from the ceiling. I quickly left that place. I kept moving around, found that uh, nether portal again. Nothing much going on here. I think I've seen everything that this world has to offer. I've seen Hero Brian, seen that Slenderman thing. The one who watches, these random mobs. The spider was annoying me and we'll forget about that one. I woke up again next to the skulls, little to do. Don't know what to really do at this point. 
On day 56, I decided to make a change. We had to explore the nether. I made another portal, entered it, but a couple seconds after entering it, I saw those same angels. What's the story behind them? As soon as I saw them, I was teleported out of the nether. Saw another angel right when I left the nether. I went closer to it. There has to be a story behind these angels. When I got close to it, it covered its eyes. It's almost like it doesn't want me to see it. What are these things? I hit it once, but every time I hit it, I lose health. And then all of a sudden, I died. My neck was snapped by a weeping angel. What are these things? There's something behind them. If you guys have an explanation, let me know in the comment section below. The next day I woke up and I had to explore the nether again. I went into the nether portal and I was I was back there. And as soon as I went, I kind of saw a glimpse of an angel and I was back teleported out of the nether. It seems like there's no way to enter the nether in this world. I was back outside in the regular forest as usual. What is the point of having a nether if you can't enter it? And what are these angels? Are they protecting it? They were kind of standing on top of a building when I went. What is the story behind them? As it became nighttime, I saw those stumps again. I, I got a torch just to see what was going on. And as soon as I walked away from the stumps, there it was, the goat man. And if you guys can see, I'll freeze the screen for you. Behind him was that slender man random figure thing as well. I ran away, but the goat man got to me and killed me in no time. It seemed like every time I woke up, Another creepy figure came to kill me. The next day, during the night, I saw Hero Brian in the middle of the water staring at me. This time was different though. He came close to me and every time I'd walk away, he'd follow me. Even when I'd hit him, nothing would happen. He'd just follow me. No more darkness, just following me. Something wasn't right about this. Soon enough, I went back to that darkness that I'm used to. I walked away and he was gone. But then out of nowhere, the man from the fog killed me. This random figure out of nowhere killed me. I found myself on top of another tree with nothing. No items, no armor, nothing. On day 66, I found this random sign in the middle of the forest saying 800 BL with an arrow. Another arrow saying 400 BL, I guess BL stands for blocks, but I don't know. I followed the arrows and soon enough, I found myself looking at this random portal thing. It was on the bottom of this mountain. I don't know how to explain it, but every time I got close to it, something happened to my game. I looked at it and it was Hero Brian's head. Hero Brian's head was on top of it, decapitated. Now, you guys have to understand, every time I got closer to this thing, my game would crash. It would either freeze or crash. This is not because my computer sucks. I mean, that might be it. But everything was normal when I wasn't near it. I looked under it. It was Hero Brian's dead body. Every time I got close to it, the game would freeze or crash. I quickly ran away. I don't know if that was coded into the game or what's going on, but let's not think about that. On day 76, I decided to give it one more chance and enter the nether. As soon as I entered the nether, this mosquito thing came and killed me immediately. It seemed like there was no way of, of, of completing this game. There's no way. Even when I survive, there's no way of collecting armor, materials, anything. Even if I could, I'd be killed by an unkillable creature or mob, like the goat man, the man who watches, Hero Brian. Something would kill me before I got the chance to enter the nether. On the last day, I woke up and was killed by the goat man. But something was different this time. When I woke up, I saw myself, my dead body, right next to my bed. What is this? What? What is the point of this world? Is it just to scare you? Or is there a underlying story? We'll only find out next time. Like this video if you guys want me to spend another 100 days in the scariest mod pack in Minecraft history. This is Premiere Plays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.